So starting off with dirty brushes and a dirty beauty blender, of course. Beauty blenders can be the hardest to clean, so I'm going to show you guys how I like to clean mine, as well as some dirty brushes. This is the soap that I have been using lately to clean my beauty blender and my brushes that I have just been obsessed with. If you follow me on Snapchat, then my Snapchat fam knows. You guys have been sending me literally hundreds of Snapchats of you guys purchasing one. You can get this actually for a dollar from Walmart if you're in the US. If you are in Canada like me, then you will have to buy yours off of Amazon. I paid around $10 each. Um, so $1 to $10 seems like a lot, but it's just really worth it still because some of the higher end um, brush cleaners and stuff like that is a lot more than $10 and this you get a huge amount and it's pink and it smells good so this stuff literally works like magic I also found this really cool um, microfiber dry towel mat that I got from Winners the towel mat is definitely optional but if you have a couple extra bucks to spare it does make a really good place for your brushes to lay and dry so Turning on the tap to warm water, I am just going to take my beauty blender and my Zote soap. By the way, I forgot to mention this is um, kind of like a laundry soap, so you can find this in the laundry department. So the first thing I'm doing is making sure I get both the soap and the beauty blender really wet. As you can see, my beauty blender is super, super dirty, so you'll see how well this stuff actually cleans it. When I had first used this soap, I had month old stains, like deep, deep stains in my beauty blender that were there for months and would never come out. And this soap got them out, so it's absolutely amazing. So I'm just kind of rubbing the sponge around and into the soap and kind of just making sure it gets all soapy. And then I'm just going to lay the soap aside and then start squeezing the beauty blender um, kind of the best thing to do too is just kind of squeeze in different motions and you'll notice the foundation literally coming out. If you have deep stains, then focus your fingers on the deep stain area and you will see the deep stain literally coming out. It's absolutely amazing. So I just continue squeezing back and forth and just rubbing the soap all into the beauty blender and you'll notice it cleans it super, super quick. Like I didn't edit any of this out, so the length of this clip is the length that it took me to clean it. It only takes like under a minute. That's how amazing this stuff works and it's only a dollar. So then I'm squeezing everything out and kind of rinsing the soap out, making sure there's no soap left in it. And here is some before and after clips for you guys to see how deep, like I swear to God, the after looks like it's brand new from Sephora. And then of course, moving on to brushes. This is a Kabuki brush from Morphe. Kabuki brushes can be some of the hardest to clean, but I make sure to get mine super wet first and then I start to rub it into the Zote soap and just continue rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it <laughs> and then rinsing it and back and forth. And you'll notice, again, I put the soap bar down and just kind of squish the bristles with my fingers and play around with it. And basically, you just want to squeeze and rinse and play around with the soap. And you'll see all the foundation and gunk start coming out. Literally, I, I don't know how much I can say it. This stuff is magic. A lot of you guys have tried it out too for my Snapchat and have loved it. So, yeah, and as you can see, you'll start to notice that there's no more foundation left once you start to squeeze. So make sure you just rinse really well because you don't want any leftover soap left in the bristles. I do kind of go in for a second round. To be honest, it's not necessary because as you can see, there's no foundation left. But I kind of like to just go give it a second rinse. doesn't hurt. Of course, rinsing it out. And I like to squeeze the excess water out of the bristles, making sure because um, this will help lessen dry time by a lot. And as you can see, it's super clean. So something I like to do too is rub it on the towel mat. This really, really, really helps because it takes, it literally cuts the drying time in half. It um, just helps to clean out the excess water. So I find this step is really necessary. I like to lay them on an angled downwards and let them lay flat to dry for a couple hours. And of course, I just follow the same steps with all of my brushes, just rinsing and then rubbing against the soap and then eventually just using my fingers to squeeze and rub the soap with the bristles and then rinsing everything out. Like I mentioned previously, if you are from the US, you can find this at Home Depot or Walmart in the laundry section um, for, I think it's like 97 cents. Literally amazing. Sometimes it's on sale for like 50 cents even. But for my Canadian girls and international girls, I will leave a link down below to Amazon where you can purchase this. It is a little bit more pricey than a dollar, obviously. Um, but it's still worth it. It's a lot less money than for something like, for example, the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. So it's really, really worth it. And some of you might say, well, using like dish soap is a lot cheaper. But to be honest, I've used a lot of different soaps to clean my brushes. And this one literally cleans it like magic and brand new. So I will leave a link down below for you guys to purchase. When 
when it comes to my eye brushes, I will just take a couple at a time that are similar um, brushes. So all of the crease brushes, all of the lower lash line brushes, lid brushes, for example. Um, here I'm just taking three crease brushes that are very similar, so I'm just kind of working those together. It just saves a lot less time if you do them all together. And of course making sure you rinse and everything like that, but I'm following the exact same steps for every single brush. Now I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys on how I actually store my soap after I've used it. I like to give it a good rinse making sure that there's a fresh layer of soap underneath, shake it off, and wash my hands because I have like excess soap on it. And then I like to go ahead and put the soap right back in its wrapper. What's awesome about this wrapper is it isn't paper so it's not going to break or get wet. It's made of plastic so it's like you know easy to restore it in the same wrapping paper. And then I just kind of store it in a drawer and let it sit there. So that's pretty much it for my brush cleaning video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully it helped and gave you a cheaper alternative to get super clean brushes and sponges. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah doing my monthly favorites and regrets so at the end of each um, monthly favorites video I've been including regrets in there which I feel like also really helps keep in mind if you do like this video at the end of all of my 